Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we will start a one more concept called design and analysis of algorithms. So in today's session we will see what is an algorithm and the complete introduction to designing of algorithm and algorithm analysis. So and analysis of algorithms. So many of the viewers were requesting me to start this subject design and analysis of algorithms because this subject will be the most important subject for all the computer science students. So in order to get a higher package the students have to focus on this particular design and analysis of algorithms. So mainly the data structures and algorithms concepts. Right. So first we will see what is an algorithm. So most of you know about this. What is the definition of an algorithm? So algorithm is defined as a set of instructions. Okay. Which are involved to solve the problem or a specific task. So if any problem is given, if any task is given, so what are the steps we have to follow in order to solve that, in order to achieve that, right? So it is a set of instructions, set of instructions, or we can also call them as a steps, steps, okay, to solve, to solve, problem or we can call it as a task so separate set of instructions or a, a steps to solve the problem or task and see this algorithm is a most fundamental blocks for any programming to solve the problems so this is the most major part while solving the problems here Solving the problem means automation. In our language, we can call it as an automation. So we consider one problem and we have to provide the solution by giving some sort of programming. Right. So in order to give that, the main aim is to get the optimal solution. So for every problem, for every problem, there will be a lot of solutions. A lot of solutions. Right. Solution 1, 2, 3 and so on. Solution N. That means one problem can be solved in many ways. Right? But we have to consider the optimal solution. Optimal. That means the best solution. So for this to... Uh, better understanding I'll tell you a small example if you want to go from one place to another place so there will be a lot of paths but we have to select the shortest path okay so that the time will be saved and also the fuel will be saved so it depends upon the constraints we have to select a proper solution so among all these solutions we have to select a proper solution Right. So that's why this depends upon the methodology we are using to solve the problem. So there will be different methods to solve a problem. But we have to select a, a problem, I mean method, which gives the best solution. So that we call it as an optimal solution. Based upon our requirement, we have to select the solution. So that's why the algorithm will be the most important fundamental block for all the problems to be get solved. So either it may be a simple problems or a complex problems. So both the problems can be solved by this algorithms. And there are many algorithm methodologies. Right. So now we will see the algorithm methodologies. So types or methodologies or methods are the first one searching techniques so there will be a lot of searching algorithms linear search binary search etc 
similarly sorting techniques so we can use this sorting mechanism so either i mean arranging the uh, the values in either increasing order or a decreasing order so sorting algorithms will be there lot of algorithms bubble sort quick sort mid sort etc etc and similarly brute force brute force methodology so brute force methodology means checking all the possibilities so we don't know the best one so checking all the possibilities so brute force method similarly greedy method greedy method dynamic programming divide and conquer divide and conquer method recursive programming recursive recursive programming so these are all the different methodologies we can use to solve any kind of problem but one important point is one particular method will not be suitable for all the problems to be get solved with a better solution so based upon the problem we have to analyze which method will be suitable to get the perfect solution so we have to learn all these things so that we can have an idea about all the methodologies so that based upon the problem we can select one among these methodologies to solve that particular problem so this plays a very crucial role right so and this is the first part designing of algorithm in this subject so which methodology we are going to use in order to solve the problem whether we are using the brute force method or a dynamic programming method or a divide and conquer or a greedy method etc etc and the next one is the analysis so algorithm analysis and this algorithm analysis is used to evaluate the performance of the algorithm so it will use the performance of the algorithm so used in evaluating performance of algorithm so here the word performance will be in terms of two things one is the space complexity So another one is the time complexity. Time complexity, space complexity, and the time complexity. That means how much space it requires to solve the problem. How, that means a memory, right? So how much time it takes to give the response or to get the complete solution. That's also an optimal solution. So these are the two terminologies we have to consider in this algorithm analysis. so there are different categories of analysis different types of analysis so one is a best case analysis best case worst case average case and amortized amortized case Right. So based upon these three, these, these things, we have to evaluate the performance of algorithm, right? In in terms of space and time complexities. So it it, it should use less space complexity and the less time complexity. Then that also with the help of the requirements according to the requirements of the problem, right? So for example, let us consider if you want to travel from one place to another place okay so from a to b so there are two parts one is a narrow road and another one is wide road so if you are using a two wheeler if you are using a two wheeler automatically it suits this path to reach the destination within a short time okay and if you are using the four wheeler 
okay this path doesn't suits for this four wheeler to reach the destination right so this four wheeler have to choose in this path so that means based upon the requirements we have to get the optimal solution based upon the requirement we have to choose the method to get the optimal solution and also in terms of the performance the space and time complexity right so we in our from our next sessions we will see each and every methodology each and every methodology and also the algorithm analysis concept so this will be the most useful for the students of a computer science particularly a computer science very important okay so hope you understood this uh, introduction and in the fundamentals of design and uh, analysis of algorithms so let's wind up if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much